My man, Jordan, what's up, man? Gee, what's up, man? Glad you're back on campus, man. Welcome back. Happy to be back. Man. Well, happy for you, man. Um, I can't say um, uh, enough how proud we are of what you're doing right now with your life. Just talk about uh, the transition from college to, uh, to, the, to the G League, you know, actually from Israel to the G League, yeah. to where you are now. Um, I've been pretty fortunate. You know, it's been kind of a roller coaster with going to Fort Wayne first and then uh, all the way to Israel and then now to Toronto. Uh, but I've been fortunate to have really good people on each team that's uh, helped me get to where I am today. And even back to, you know, to you, Indy, man, having you and uh, Sorrow, was right, everybody done just a really great job. Uh, so I've, I've been kind of fortunate to have a good supporting cast. Um, and just, I've just learned to really just roll with the punches. A lot of ups and downs, uh, come and go. Um, but just roll with it, man. I remember uh, some of the practices where you'd always complain. Because <laughs> I, I tell the coaches, Coach Wright and Coach Casaro, to be hard on you. Yeah. yeah. Little did you know that was, a, you know, to kind of prepare you for what you're dealing with right now. Yeah. So talk about, you know, I remember uh, you always thought Coach Wright didn't like you, but he really did deep down inside. That was me putting those yeah, guys yeah. on you to, yeah. to make you go harder because I saw uh, your, your future and the potential you had. Yeah, you know, yeah. just talk about the way we push you guys yeah, in yeah. practice a little bit because I know it's, it's a challenge every day. Oh, I mean, the way you guys push me and the rest of my teammates is something I haven't experienced since, you know. Um, it's, and it's good because it prepares you mentally uh, for anything to come. We've had days where we didn't even have a ball in practice. You just run. So you, you remember that day over in, uh, in, in uh, we started practice over here and then we went to Ruth Lilly because you, you wouldn't you wouldn't quit talking back to me. I know, I know. Yeah. And, so. I try, and, I, and I, I'm thankful for moments like that, man, and people like you because I probably couldn't get away with that with some, yeah. some other people. But like I said, man, it's just really, it's just got my mind right and it's just got me ready to whatever comes my way, whether it be the coaches or not playing well. Um, it's just that drive that you guys gave me and instilled in me. And I don't now I don't have to get mad in order to play well. You, know, you start from the jump. Uh, so. Well, I know that year we were number one in the country. An amazing run. Yeah. yeah. You had some great teammates in, in, in Barker, McElroy, Lawson, Dejan. You know, guys you never forget. Right. Joe Reddick. You know, the next year. And I think to this day you still talk to those guys quite a bit. I remember yeah. when you played in your first game in Chicago. Yeah. I think I saw Rambo. And, uh, and Eric Davis, that's your game. Yep. You know, we, we talked that night a little bit, but I was really happy that those guys came to support you. Man, it's like, it's crazy how, the fa it's like a family. No matter where we go, um, even with Justin, you know, the dance guy, our manager who was uh, on our team, it's just, we, we always stay in communication. Rambo, Joe, guys, Lucas across the world, I'll share we talk. Um, and it's just like, you and he has this weird way of just having this crazy family atmosphere that you can't get away from. You know, I would have killed to be here today, you know, regardless. So. Um, just having that type of atmosphere and players can grow so easily here, you know, and people to back you no matter what happens in life. Exactly. And you, you're talking about the family uh, aspect of it. Uh, we played in Vegas a few weeks ago, yep. and it just so happened you were in Vegas playing in your G League uh, showcase. Yep. You had a chance to watch us play. Yep. You spent some time with our guys, and then you and I talked after the game. I know I was not very happy, but you gave me some great, you know, some great things. I asked your advice on our team. and. and yeah. What we should do, should we do different, rather? But I, I think you had a great conversation with a number of guys. I hung out with Jimmy King a little bit. Oh, didn't I was with Jimmy, I see a couple of guys after. And, I mean, I saw the talent right away, and I know, and I knew, um, you know, y'all weren't playing y'all best basketball now, but you want to be playing it in a couple months, and I right. knew that's and that's gonna happen for you guys. So I could, I just told y'all to stick with. It. I told you, like, I know it's tough as a coach. You got the refs, you got all type of things going on, but just stick with it. Y'all have as much talent as you need. It's just going to be the little things, getting guys to play together, be tough, uh, be physical when times get hard, uh, practice when you don't want to practice, play when you don't want to play. And those little things will, I think, result in a really good season for you guys. All right. Now let's focus on you, man. I know we talked about us. Yeah. What about, you know, how does it feel to be sitting on the NBA bench? You know, you're, you're, in, the, you're in arenas with 20,000 people. Yeah, you know, we, we talked a couple of nights ago how, you know, when I asked you, like, how does it feel, man? Because that's that's something I would have died for as a, as a student athlete. And now you're getting to live it. And to be the first UND basketball player uh, to, to set feet on the NBA court. You know, just talk about the feeling and everything like that that you're dealing with right now. I mean, right now, everything's happening so fast. It's just like, it's surreal for me, obviously. Uh, I'm on a great team, great teammates. And uh, I, I look at it 
time I run out there in the tunnel, I'm just like, how in the world did I get here? Like, who's your Lord, you know? And it's just like, I'm just soaking in every little thing I can, from practice to traveling to the crazy games to celebrating with my team. Uh, it just feels amazing. It's a dream come true. I always wanted to play the NBA, never thought right. it was reality. Right. Uh, so to be doing it, and just, I think it's important to reflect on it. Yes. And just remember that uh, I've come a long way. Yeah, you have. Ago. You have. I remember when we was in practice here when you back when you played. We thought it was it was going to be Dejan. Yeah. And then who, you know, now you look at what five, seven years later. You playing for a special person in everybody's heart around here, and, and Dejan, and, and you know, just mentioning his name, man, it just gives me the fuzzies in my heart, I know, man. I know. That guy was an amazing dude, man. And, and every time I see you play, whether it's in the G League or or in the NBA, I always think about how happy he is in heaven, man, smiling down on you. It just drives like to stuff to a place that I can't explain, and uh, I like I told people before, I feel like he's the main reason I am where I am. So uh, just having him in, a, in, a, in my heart and in my mind every day, whether it be basketball or something else, right, right. Uh, it just it makes me feel really, really special. Well, I want you to do one thing when you go to practice. Remember at uh, Truman State, yep. Dejan led the stretches. <laughs> And we did we did cartwheels yeah. and somersaults. So I want you to try that in your practice and see how Kawhi Leonard likes it. I don't think that I don't think that'll fly, man. I don't know. It probably won't be able to try it, man. But that was always positive. The energy that. Oh, it was fun. It was fun. Well, listen, man. We're we're proud of you, man. And it was nothing but the best. But but thank you for being the humble guy that you are. Uh, I know your mom and dad is really happy for you and your grandparents. I talked to your granddad a couple weeks ago, but they're so happy for you, man. And we are too. We're your, we're your biggest supporters outside of them, but. Keep doing what you're doing, man, but, but through everything, keep God in your life, man, and stay humble, man. You're, you're a great dude. You're doing great things. We're really happy for you, man. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you, man. Appreciate All right, my man. Much love, man. Love you, Coach. Love you too, man.